So, for Foundations of Pure Maths, I got s Then we have Calculus and Vectors, and for that course, my grade is s From the exam, I expected it to be, to be the best result, but for probability, I got s And then Mathematical Workshop, I am quite shocked with, I got s Everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. I do hope you're all well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. Now, I have just opened my results for semester one. I did film my reaction, but my camera cut out. So we're here, we're having to work with what we've got. I'm about to tell you my results. I have just opened them about 10 minutes ago, and then I was scrumbling around trying to find another SD card because this one just doesn't seem to want to cooperate ever. So we'll have to rip that one up. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm here to tell you my results. So, before I do that, if you don't know anything about me, my name is Harry Surplus. I'm 18 years old and I'm a math student at the University of Manchester. I'm currently in semester two and today, which is the 25th of March, we have got our semester one results. If you wanna see a review of my whole semester one and how it went and everything, you can click up there to go and see that video. But let me quickly take you through. So, you probably know this if you've been subscribed for a while, but I would guess there might be a few people uh, watching this video that's new, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, but I had three courses in semester one. We had foundations of pure maths, we had calculus and vectors, and we had probability. And then alongside those three courses, we had like a little workshop where we did some coding. We did MATLAB and LaTeX, and that was called Maths Workshop. Those were the three courses in the workshop that I had. In foundations and in calculus and vectors, we had a take-home exam and we had an online exam. My take-home exam, of course, I did everything at home because of coronavirus. Everything was done at home. I've been learning online for the start of my time at uni. And uh, we had a take-home exam that was like what we would have sat in the real exam. It was a paper, we printed it off and we submitted our solutions. We then also had a online exam, which was like a multiple choice. Um, some of them we had to type our own answers in. For probability, we just had just an online exam, I think, because I can't actually quite remember. I think it was just an online exam. I can't remember doing a take home one. I think it was just an online exam. And with probability, I struggled a little bit throughout the semester, but with the exam, it was actually really, really easy. I say easy. I'm very pleased with my results. I think there was only five questions and I think I got like four of them right, or four I definitely knew I had right. Maybe one or two, I guess. I think it was only one, actually, that I kind of had an educated guess at. That was just online. And then for the workshop, we had just an online exam that tested our MATLAB and our LaTeX skills. What I just did about 10 minutes ago was open my results and react to them. But I can't do that now because I've already seen them. So let me take you through what I got. Now, I think they're all out of 100. So for Foundations of Pure Maths, I got 62. Now it just says my grade, 62. Uh, that was a 20 credit course and it just says grade 62. So I guess that is 62% because I guess it's out of 100. Now I've had a look online and I've converted that in terms of a like classification basically and that would come under a upper second class honours which is just a conversion online, GPA calculator. So. That's quite good, I think. I'm pleased with that. Then we have calculus and vectors, and for that course, my grade is 71, which is, if we look at it in terms of grades, it's a first, which I'm very, very pleased with. I didn't think that exam went great. It was the first one that I did, and I spent three hours, just under three hours on that paper for some reason. I don't know why, the time just flew by. But um, I'm quite shocked with that one, actually. It's only just sinking in, but 71 for calculus and vectors, which I'm really, really pleased with. Uh, then we had probability, which I'm surprised from the way the semester went, that this is my best result out of my three courses. From the exam, I expected it to be, to be the best result, but for probability, I got 77, which I'm very happy with. I really, really am. They're only just sinking in, really. So that was 77. I don't think we're going to get our papers back. We might do later on in the year. I really don't know. We've just got the grades for the minute. And then Mathematical Workshop, I am quite shocked with. I got 82, which the exam wasn't too hard. I think there was a few questions that I maybe couldn't do straight away. 
or I had to think about, but I think, or I, I know, <laughs> I have passed my semester one. I can scroll down and it says my GPA, which is my grade point average, which I think is just an average across the semester one of all the grades. Overall in semester one, I got 70.8 as my grade, which I'm really, really pleased with. That's a first if we think about it like that. Very high marks considering the situation we've been in. And of course doing any degree, but doing a maths degree online is pretty hard. I am quite proud of myself and hopefully you are too. So um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. I'll go through them again. Foundations of Pure Maths, 62. Calculus and Vectors, 71. Probability, 77. Maths Workshop, 82. So then overall, my GPA is 70.8. So I'm uh, really quite happy. I hope that um, you're happy as well. I hope that you enjoy kind of coming along with me. Semester two is going all right. <laughs> it's a little bit harder this semester because the math is a bit harder and it's kind of like getting back into the swing of everything, even though we've now had seven weeks of semester two. I don't know where that has gone. I really don't. I'm excited for these to break because I'll be able to catch up a little bit and have a rest. Um, but yeah, those are my results for semester one. I don't think I could have worked any harder. I don't think I could have done any better. I'm really, really pleased. We've just got to replicate that in semester two or the the end of first year exams. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up. If you've watched this whole video and not subscribed, then what are you doing? Please subscribe down below. And um, yes, if you've got grades at the end of this semester, or you know, if you're not uh, in first year, if you're in second year or whatever, then uh, let me know how you did. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with a brand new video. I'm off to celebrate, by literally doing nothing. All right, <laughs> bye. I have passed my semester one.